page 70. Sexuality, remembering the focus. The spiritual journey can seem intense and difficult whenever a seeker loses sight of the focus, inner peace. The journey to awakening is a remembrance of the sacred presence within through removing the blocks to the awareness of love. The path involves steps in which the symbols of the world are retranslated from icons of hatred to reminders of love, and eventually toward a step in which all symbols are eclipsed by the present experience of the sacred spirit, which is one forever. The body is part of the perception of a sleeping mind that has forgotten its divinity. Denial of the body during the awakening process is the inappropriate use of denial, for the central focus must always remain on exposing and releasing all limiting beliefs and thoughts that obscure the light from awareness. The focus is not what must be given up, for this approach is the ego's interpretation and always involves the concept of sacrifice. The only question the seeker need ask about any practice, including sex, is one of purpose. What is it for? The ego has made a world of preferences and sexuality is part of the pyramid. These preferences are beliefs, and they make a hierarchy of illusions that the ego jealously guards and protects. The unconscious guilt from these beliefs maintains the world of distorted perception. The spirit's forgiving perspective, on the other hand, releases the mind to again bask in a state of innocence and freedom that is its natural condition. With mind training, the spirit's perspective grows stronger and stronger in awareness, clearing away the belief in lack that distorts and clouds desire. Without mind training, the surface of consciousness is bubbling with distorted miracle impulses that seem to express in a variety of forms, cravings, and needs. Every distorted miracle impulse is actually a call to remember God. But through the ego's lens of lack, the impulse is perceived as something to get for satisfaction. The apparent satisfactions that come from making false associations of thought are fantasies of pleasure, brief and temporary, and they never truly satisfy in a lasting way. All appetites are getting mechanisms. These distortions all have their foundation in the belief in linear time, and they are always remembered or anticipated. They have nothing to do with the divine present. Quote, sacred, unquote, sexuality, as a practice, can be thought of as spontaneous expressions of affection, that are prompted from and guided by the Spirit, with the sole purpose of undoing the belief in linear time. They are prompts that come from the willingness to listen and follow and flow with the Spirit as a reflection of the lesson, I will step back and let Spirit lead the way. Because of the shared obedience to follow the guidance of spirit, quote, sacred, unquote, sexuality is a stepping stone on the way to releasing all expectations, needs, and desires. Approaching the purity of heart 
Jesus spoke of in the Sermon on the Mount. Spontaneity based in following guidance, rather than counterfeit impulsivity of the ego, is a way of placing the mind under the direction of the Spirit and allowing the mind to be used for miracles, which are natural expressions of love. Miracles are involuntary, and thus are always under the control of Christ, and the resulting happiness and joy are unmistakable experiences of a willing mind. Repression and indulgence are the only options offered by the ego when it comes to sexuality. The miracle offers a real alternative that brings release from the tensions associated with lack and deprivation. Miracles teach the mind that it is whole and complete, and thus the purpose of forgiveness ultimately releases the mind from all sense of lack. When the belief in lack has been replaced by the experience of wholeness, the ego, with its defenses and games, no longer remains to haunt the mind. The mind awakens to the pristine abstract light that shines eternally in the mind of God. Oneness has no needs and simply extends forever and ever. Listen and follow your intuition. This is the same answer for any problem, difficulty, or area of question. It matters not whether an issue seems to involve the body, the world, or the many apparent aspects of the world. For in hearing one voice, there is no problem. Before sexuality ceases to seem to exist, rest assured that the intuitive use of the body and world will come to take the place of the ego's uses of the body and world. The intuitive use for the body is the decision to allow it to be used solely as a communication device. All real pleasure comes from doing God's will, and God's will is forever for perfect happiness.